at Slant, we work with robots every day. Several months ago, while we were working on a small industrial robot arm for a client, we realized that the design could be 10 times cheaper and 100 times easier to work with. So we went to a whiteboard and sketched out the general requirements for what would become the shop arm project. Those requirements included it had to cost less than $1,000, the average maker had to have the capability to build it in the garage, and it had to be easy enough to use that anyone could get one and implement it. These basic goals led us along. We ended up designing it to be 3D printed, because that's one of the most common maker tools and was an affordable option to produce it in low quantities. Many of the components are based on 3D printers, because the cost of these parts have come down. And we decided to take it open source, so that other people outside of our group can create applications for the arm. Currently, we have several interfaces built. You can train the arm using our desktop software for Windows and Linux, which can let the arm draw or just record a few waypoints and motions. Or, you can direct and train the arm by using an onboard camera. This eliminates the challenge of implementing one of these arms. From there, it's down to the manipulators. We've already developed several. A gripper, a pin clamp, hooks and claws, and we've even started experimenting with various dispensers. With these, the arm can be a workbench assistant, Tony Stark style, decorate cakes and cookies, feed the pet, or just pack a box. In future, we want to add the capability for the arm to perform 3D printing, as well as build better feedback to improve the flexibility of the arm. Spin right. Robot arms like the shop arm can be incredibly useful tools, but that's only if they are affordable and easy enough to use. We've created that, and it's only going to get better. This Kickstarter is intended to help us continue to fund the development of the project and get the first sets of arms delivered. We've already finished the design, and we're working with several manufacturers whom we've used in the past on projects. All of the printing infrastructure is in place to build the arms, and we are ready to finally create a truly useful robot arm.